Okay, the, the question is, is when we process evidence for DNA, what, what are we entering into that database that's being searched? And, well, basically, uh, the FBI set up uh, what's called the, the recommended core 13 loci. And those are the areas of DNA that everyone in the country is processing. We're actually doing more than 13. We're doing it upward of 16 to 18 in some areas. But we're taking that genetic profile that we have from evidence, and that, in fact, is what's being entered in. Um, you know, the success of the database is, you know, if you read the paper much, it, it's really evident. And what we're able to do is take that genetic profile, put it in this local database that, that searches every crime that where we have another DNA profile, of course, within the state of Arkansas. And it also searches not only against crime scene evidence, but convicted offender evidence as well. And then we send that to the national level where it's searched across the country, and we can even use Interpol and search it to around the... Uh, you know, different countries. We, we've had success with Canada, um, in, the, in, the, in the UK. It's a tremendous resource. But it gives law enforcement investigative tool. So if we have a case, we associate a hit in the database, we can send a letter to law enforcement and basically say, hey, we've got a hit. This evidence matches this individual. And that gives them probable cause to go obtain another sample from that individual where they might not have had probable cause in the past. Then we're going to analyze that and that evidence that they submit, let's say oral swabs from an individual, is what we're going to testify into the court with. Um, you know, that's a long answer probably to the question you want. But. I, I got a question that I think I want to help elucidate what you're asking because I'm giving tours all the time at the crime lab, and, and I never know the answer to this, but I know that you do. There's a bunch of names for all those different alleles, right? What are they, like they're L something. The, right. They've all got different names. And then there's a number that's associated with that. Loci, is that right? So it's like fourteen point one or something. Right. So it's actually just a bunch of numbers, I think. Yeah, it's a numerical representation, you know, of of uh, the, the allele that we're looking at. You know, so we have the same ones, but we differ across the thirteen that we're looking at. 